Hey everyone, welcome back to Instinct Bassin in another video. In this one, I'm going to discuss the top five reasons I use Garmin Marine Electronics. Thanks so much for being here, and do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe if you like what you see. Real quick before we get started, we recently became affiliated with Sportsman's Outfitters. I'll leave a link down in the description, because if you need that hot lure for springtime, they have the best prices on the web. And it's a great way to support the channel, as I'll receive a small commission on anything you buy using that affiliate link. Thanks so much, and let's get started. So the first reason is going to be availability. If you've tried to purchase virtually any type of marine electronics since 2020, you'll already know that a lot of items are either out of stock or extremely hard to find. The pandemic and some of the resulting policies have disrupted supply chains across the globe. No one seems to be hit harder than Humminbird and Minkota's parent company, Johnson Outdoors. If you go on their website, you'll frequently find nearly every product is out of stock. This is true not only of their entry-level items, but also of their more expensive offerings like the Solex or Apex Mega SI units. Even other popular online websites are either out of stock or have a date months from now when they'll be back in stock. It can be more than a little frustrating if you're in the market for a fish finder. And it isn't any better in the store itself. I took a trip down to my local Bass Pro and they currently only have three lower tier Hummingbird units none of which have the features now seen on most bass boats. By comparison, the Garmin counter was nearly full, with over a dozen units to choose from, including what I think is the best fish finder you can get for around $1,000, the Echomap 93 SV. Be sure to check out my 6 month review of that unit, as well as my video showing 5 things to do first, both of which I'll link in the description. Lawrence doesn't seem to be hit quite as hard as Humminbird has, but with just 7 units in stock, only one of which is decent, and the offerings are still paltry when compared to what is normally in stock with Garmin. And yes, this is just one store, but if you shop for a fish finder recently, you've likely experienced the same frustration. And this letter regarding Johnson Outdoors quarter one earnings not only confirms the supply chain issues, but it also shows that they aren't likely to get any better anytime soon. Accordingly, Humminbird sales took a significant hit as a result, and fishing sales were down nearly 15%, despite record high demand for the outdoors. For whatever reason, Garmin just doesn't seem to be as affected by these issues. My second reason for using Garmin is going to be their ease of use. In my opinion, Garmin Fish Finders have a much more user-friendly interface. The home screen is very intuitive and simple to follow, while also remaining extremely functional. While I was the marine lead at Bass Pro Shops, I found it much easier to explain how to do most functions on a Garmin, as opposed to Lowrance or Humminbird. Now this admittedly is partially because I own Garmin units and am more familiar with them, but I did make a valiant attempt to learn the functions of each particular brand and still find Garmin to have a much more intuitive interface. And Garmin units are much easier to network together than either Humminbird or Lowrance. They only require one Ethernet cable or an Ethernet box and cable depending on the unit. This is much easier than searching around for the correct cable or dongle adapter with other units. It's literally plug and play networking. My third reason for choosing Garmin is how good the stock maps are that come on Garmin units, especially the Echo Map or better versions. Lowrance and Humminbird both have great add-on map cards like the Lowrance Sea Maps or the Humminbird Lake Master Maps, but these are usually an additional cost. Garmin bought Navionics back in October 2017, and they quickly incorporated Navionics data into their stock mapping options. The maps have depth shading capability, thousands of lakes or coastal areas depending on the unit, one foot contours, and the ability to create your own contours with the quick draw function. And finally, updates are extremely easy using the Active Captain app. This brings us to reason number four, and that is price. For what you get for the price, there isn't a better unit on the market, in my opinion, than Garmin. For example, the previously mentioned Echomap 93SV can usually be found for around $1,000, and often for less than $700, depending on when you buy it. It's typically on sale during Christmas and Father's Day, so be on the lookout. No other 9-inch unit has all the features it has for that low of a price. Comparatively speaking, the Humminbird Helix 9 with side imaging can be as much as $500 more, and as previously mentioned, can be very difficult to find, and is much less intuitive to operate. Likewise, the Lowrance FS9 with side imaging is usually around $300 more, and is also less intuitive in my opinion. Finally. The Lowrance HDS9 is again about $500 more 
And while the screen looks great, it doesn't necessarily provide any more useful options. And the larger fish finders all compare similarly in this regard. And finally, my number five reason for using Garmin is security. All Garmin fish finders over seven inches come with a protective screen that is simple to put on and just as easy to remove, yet it stays in place perfectly while traveling. But even better is the fact that most newer Garmin units are able to be removed from the mount without having to unplug wires, which can result in unnecessary wear and tear on the wires and connections. Admittedly, the Echo Map units can sometimes take a little more coaxing to remove, and I sometimes get the impression the plastic release may eventually break, but I haven't had any issues with it so far, and it's well worth it to be able to remove it on long trips or while the boat is in sketchy motel parking lots. In summary, my top five reasons for using Garmin fish finders on my boat are availability, ease of use, stock maps, price, and finally security. So I have to add in one more honorable mention, and that is Panoptics Live Scope. Garmin's forward-facing sonar consistently ranks and performs better than both Lawrence's Active Target and Humminbird's Mega Live, even though Garmin's product has been on the market the longest. Check out Fish the Moment's video for his full side-by-side -side comparison of all three units. I'll link that video in the description. I should have mentioned earlier that I am not affiliated nor sponsored by Garmin in any way. I just like the product and enjoy passing along that knowledge to you. Please check out my other related videos, including my six-month reviews of both the Echomap 93 and 73 fish finders, as well as five things to do when you first get those units. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. Remember to trust your gut, and I'll see you on the water.